Hey guys, welcome back to my first ever playthrough of Chrono Cross. I have had a lot more freezing issues trying to get this session running, so hopefully it holds up. All you, uh, all you missed is that I um, set some new elements on people because I realised that I had a couple of empty slots again. Um, but yeah, the game is not playing nice today. I, I've had to completely reinstall it and hope that that fixes the problem. But you know, let's find out, eh? Let's see how it all plays out. It's a shame because I really, really want to like this game, but this, and from what I've read online, this just seems like a terrible, terrible port of it, the Steam version. It's just got bugs for days. Um, which is a sad, but you know, we don't let it, we don't want to judge the game entirely based on this. It is what it is, you know. Right. What green elements do I have? I have a good green element to hit you with. Did I hit the right one? I kind of hammered the button there. Okay, I did hit him. Fantastic. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. That's good. Okay, I remember the doors were quite tanky last time I fought them, so... uh could take a little bit of time to bring him down. There he goes. I'm not quite sure what the um, the blue, yellow, and red bars represent at the moment. It's interesting. I hadn't thought to question that already. His bar's gone blue now. Right, you are green, so we want to hit you with yellow. I'll just hit you with that. There you go. Problem solved. I got a capsule. Nice. Can we go through this door now? It's locked from the inside. Okay. Who saw me? Where did you come from? And other questions of a similar variety. This manor is flipping massive, is all I'm going to say. Oh, that's a good start. Oh, that's a terrible start. That's the worst start possible. Okay, these are red creatures, right? No, wait. They are... They are red, so we want to hit them with blue. Do I have a blue that hits everybody? No, but we'll do that on him. Good, because that'll finish him off. Nikki, can you just kill this weird Zubat wannabe? There we go. Ooh, a mighty one point of damage, is it? Now yeah, worth the risk. And then hit him with an element. Uh, let's use Grand Finale. <laughs> it's very rock and roll. Ah, uh, boom. Okay, already things are running smoother than last time I tried to play this. So, that's good. Right, I don't know if the eye will do anything. Aha, we can get through the eye. But the eye came back, which is weird. Okay, what's through here? What's this? Oi, could this be? Nah, it ain't the frozen flame. Don't see any other booty here either. Guess I better ask the general directly then. Oh. What is it you wish to ask me? <laughs> my compliments on getting past my security. Now, may I ask you who in heaven's name you are? So you're General Viper? Don't feign ignorance on me now. Why did you send your dragoons to get me mate Serge here? Serge? My dragoons? I'm afraid, my dear, I haven't the foggiest idea what you are talking about. General, I believe these vermin are here to see me. Your General Viper? Well, it seems you have saved me the trouble of finding you. Lynx? Oh, he can phase in out. Hmm? Young girl, are you? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? I've finally caught you by the tail now, Lynx. I've come for two things, the frozen flame and your life, you murderer. Ooh, okay. 
Ah, so you must be Kid. A member of the fearsome band of thieves. The, the, a member of the fearsome band of thieves known as the Radical Dreamers, correct? The Radical Dreamers? This young lady? Precisely. Don't let her innocent looks fool you, General. She is quite ferocious. Ha! <laughs> ferocious? My ass. After what you've done. I hate to disappoint you, but the frozen flame is not here. The jewel lies hidden in the Sea of Eden, the place where past and future collide. Alright then, looks like I'll have to put that part off, off till later. In the meantime, I'll set up my score with you, Lynx. Prepare to meet your maker. Oh, and straight in, is it? Well. Ooh, sparkly. Oh, that's a wicked looking scythe he's got there. Man, you're cool. I don't want to kill you. Purple? What's going to be the opposite of purple? White? No, white and black seems like it should be opposite. I don't know what's opposite of purple. I guess we'll just hit you with all our good good goods. How hard can you hit? Oh, you get multiple hits. Okay, that's uh, problematic. I'm going to hit you with a nice blast because I've got it available. And I want to see what it does. Okay, it did some, it did some. Opposite of purple. Well, I guess we can try a white one in a minute, see if that does a bit of extra damage, but I'm pretty sure white and black are going to be opposite, not purple. Purple and orange, maybe? Imbecile. Magic attack temporarily decreased, okay. I mean, he's not out there. I was going to say, I was about to say he's not very good at dodging, but uh, then he decided to show me up by doing it immediately. Well, grand finale time. And boom. Okay, I didn't do a great deal. Right, your magic attack's gone down the toilet at the moment anyway, so maybe we just attack with you. Oh, you can do it more all of us, aren't you? Okay, how temporarily are we talking, though? Uh, also, maybe I should try and hit with a blue to try and make blue be more prominent. Or maybe we try a photon ray and see if he doesn't like that. Bear in mind that my magic attack's been reduced, so this probably won't do as much. I did some. I don't really have an obvious way of... Uh, Anti-white. White elements temporarily unusable. So he is scared of white elemental attacks. Interesting. Okay. Well, how about another one then? Maybe white and purple is opposite then. Yeah, okay. So he's, he doesn't like white elemental attacks. Good to know. Wow. Gotcha. Right, you can't use any white elemental attacks at the moment anyway, so just wail on him, I suppose? Oh, come on. Okay, we're back. We're going to give this another shot. Uh, God, I hope the recording so software holds up. Please hold up. Please hold up. I am scared. But we also know that uh, we do have the advantage of knowing that white is obviously the opposite of purple, I think, because it does seem to be doing more damage than usual. So I'm guessing white, uh, purple is the equivalent of like black in this. Maybe? Or maybe we're just getting lucky. I don't know. Yeah, because he doesn't seem to want him to be able to do white abilities, which definitely implies that he's scared of it. Chunk, chunk. Uh, you still have a white ability, and you might as well use it while we've got it. Boop! Not the strongest boop we've got, but it's fine. Ah, oh, bollocks. Uh, you've got recover all, it doesn't really help us in this situation, but I guess we could use Grand Finale while we got it. Make the most of it. And rock and roll! 
Okay, so I can't use your wide abilities, but that's fine. You've got other doodads you can hit him with. Yeah, because all the characters are hitting him with white stuff. He's not thrilled about that. Uh, what else can we hit you with? Ice Blast. I'm sure you won't like that to the face. Yeah, I mean, that still did a chunk. We're not going to argue with that. Oh, this is the... Uh, that was my magical attack. So he is going to be a bit worse off in that regard. But you can hit him with... Oh, we should try and pilfer in case he's got something neat. What are we still? Oh, a magic ring. That does sound good. We'll see what that does in just a second. Uh, well, you're just going to wail on him this round because your magic attack's been dropped. I don't know how long for. But that. Oh, we've already gone down to being weakened. This is good. Her magic attack's gone down now. Do we want to... I guess we could do this. I mean, your magic attack's gone down, but it should still do some damage, right? Eh, it did some. Not the most devastating attack I've ever seen in my life, but... Yeah, worth a shot. Uh, oh, you haven't got that. Well... Let's try a bushwhacker on you. You've got loads of things to play with. Maybe we should have you... Yeah. Hit him with something heavy and difficult to, to withstand. Great. Hell soul. That sounds bad. Now there's two of me. <laughs> a lot of razzmatazz, but it did nothing, sunshine. Well, just keep wailing on him, I suppose. Why is it my... I can only do my first option at the moment. Is that part of something else that's going on here? Why have I not got options to do anything? Oh, is it because his elements are all maxed out? No, it's not. That's weird. Why are my attack options being limited? I don't fully understand. Oh no, you've gone back to being normal now. Oh, there we go. We got him! Bad kitty. Kitty stays down. Growth level achieved. Lesser Pendragon Sigil. Neat. He's just face down on the ground. Oh! He turned into a weird shadow cat. Bugger! It was just a shadow. Oh. Did you think I would be stupid enough to pick a fight with a rabid dog? Why, just a shadow of mine is enough to deal with the likes of you, except we kicked your ass. Now, Serge, what do you desire from this world? Do you wish to live again? Do you want to erase your demise from the pages of history? Oh, that's loud. What's wrong, Serge? I don't know, but a cutscene is, is occurring. Oh. Oh. Oi. Tripping. Something bad is happening. Ooh. Wow, that's dramatic. Listen to me. The end of the human world is nigh. When this time comes, Serge, there shall be a deep enmity between you and the world. This is not speculation or prediction. This is history. Yeah, another shadow cat. Many shadow cats. Bad shadow kitties. Bugger, this doesn't look good. You cannot escape. There is something I want to ask you. Daddy, 
about that voyage I've been planning. Oh my. Oh. Don't move a whisker if you want the girl to live. Goodness gracious, who are you? My darling Riddle. Why, you dirty. Shut up, old timer. Our ass, our lives are... I don't know why I saw the word asses there. It's because she says ass a lot. Our lives are at stake here. There ain't nothing dirty about saving your own skin. Just stay calm and quiet. I won't hurt you, okay? I just need you to come with us till we reach a safer place. You all right, Serge? Come on, let's bust out of here. Ignore the shadow kiddies and what you saw in that portal. We're just going to move on with our lives. Don't be foolish. Do you really think you can escape? We're blocked in. You fiend. Take your dirty hands off, Lady Riddle. Yes, sir. Three bags full, sir. As if. What do you take me for? A bloody idiot. Urgh. Search this way. Up the stairs they march. Very slowly giving pursuit. Uh, back away, not today. We've backed ourselves into the corner. We have you now, you vermin. There is no way out of here. Bloody hell. Kid, do you not know where you're going? Let's work out a deal. Release my daughter and I shall let you walk away. How about it? Yeah, right, as if we can trust you. Are you willing to jump to your death? Um. No. Oh. Look out! Uh. Did you throw a dagger at... Kid, no! What do you live for? Is Kid alright? What are you willing to die for? I've been waiting for you, Serge. Waiting a long, long time for you. I'm... what? Now come to me, Serge, the assassin of time. The Chrono Trigger. Wait, no, I can't be the... what? Hold on, wait, wait, whoa. Come to me, Serge. The Chrono Trigger was an egg, right? No! Ah. Whee! Oh. Hey, kid, are you alright? Ah. <laughs> Just plonk. Autosave, wow. Uh, let's definitely save there. Well, that was dramatic. So in this game, apparently we are the Chrono Trigger. Where are we now? This isn't where I thought we were going to be. We're finally awake. If you're looking for your friends, they're outside. I have friends still. That's a promising start. Did you get a good nice rest? You can go outside through that door. Go say hi to your friends. Why do I have many suspicions? No, 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 not that way. You can go this way. But exploring, exploring, going... Oh, fine. We'll go the way you want us to go. Friends! <gasps> Kid, you're okay! And the rest of you also here. Hooray! Oi, Serge, you finally woke up, eh? Uh, kid, you got, like, daggered or something. Give your thanks to Korcha. He's the one that saved us after we fell off the cliff. Well, you weren't much use getting in, though, were you, Korcha? No, sweat's all part of my job as a ferryman. But I have to admit, you caught me by surprise when you came falling from the sky. You're lucky that I... It was the sea that you fell into, not the rocks. Yeah, agreed. That's a fair point. Jeez, you're such a wuss. How could you get knocked out from such a short fall? That's me. A little graze like this ain't gonna... Not me, d uh, d kid. <laughs> ah, oh man, she's burning up. There's a clinic in this village. We should take her there. Come on, I need your help. Kid, stop nearly dying. You're giving me heart palpitations. Is that an otter? In the background? 
It seems the patient has been poisoned with hydra venom. I would say the most she has to live is about two. Jesus, will you just give kid a break? Please, you're a terrible doctor. Say something more encouraging. If we had some hydra humor, we would be able to neutralize the poison. We'll say that first then. Doc, if we find this hydra humor, we can save this girl? Yes, but that's impossible now. Hydras are now extinct on El Nido. What do you mean extinct? What's going on? Hydras are very rare and valuable creatures. I read that wrong. The blood, bones, meat, every part is valuable. It's considered to be a panacea for various illnesses. That is the reason hydras were hunted to extinction in El Nido. As a result, the whole species has been made extinct, and all just to make a quick fortune. Is there no way to find this humour? If we could cross the sea to the mainland, there might be might be a chance, right? That is not possible. The currents of El Nido are extremely dangerous this time of year. Will you give us some good news, Doc? It would be it would be futile to try to cross the sea unless you were on a large vessel. Even if you manage to get there, your chances of finding hydro humor are bleak. We do not have much time. Be more positive, Doctor. Doctor? Where are you going? Hey, Doc. Where are you going? Nothing's been resolved yet. Excuse me, I need to be alone for a while. You are a terrible doctor. Like, just the worst. Serge, what are we going to do? Kid is going to die if we leave her like this. Is this some kind of joke? Wait right here, I'll go get the doctor back. You do it, pants man. Whoa. Who the hell are you? What's this? No apologies for bumping into moi? Oh la la, don't you know any manners? <gasps> it's Harley Quinn! She's back! Haha, <laughs> she's down for the count, just as I thought. Serge, mon ami, why don't we just leave her be? Who are you, and what's with that strange costume? Listen, kid, you're wearing pants. I wouldn't push too hard on people's fashion choices. Ceter, I have no business with no chicken hawk. I have a, I'm having a conversation with Serge. You're bothering moi, so keep your mouth shut. Why, you? I ain't gonna let chap barge into this room and get away with all the stuff you've said. You've made me mad. I'll show you some manners. I'm not gonna cut chap any slack just because you're a girl. Try if you dare. I am not so weak as to be caught by a chicken hawk. <laughs> You've got some nerve. You're gonna regret it. Charge! Huh? Damn it, where'd she go? <laughs> you're amusing. Oh, you're a shadow thingy as well. Aha, such a simple turn. It's so much fun playing jokes on you. I was only here to see how she was doing, but I had fun while I was at it. So long, Serge. However, au revoir, mon ami. Please dream of moi every night, oui? Oh, Harley, when are we just going to have a cuddle? Tch, she's a loon. What's her deal? I just don't get it. Yo, Serge, are, you, are all your friends like that? I mean, so far, yes. Uh, Serge. Come on, go talk to her. Oh, I am in control. Serge, I'll leave this with you. It's my favourite amulet. Astral amulet. Remember what the prophet said, Serge. Where did it all start? Where do angels lose their way? Try to remember, Serge. I'm feeling a bit tired. I'm gonna rest up for a while. No, kid, we need you in the party. Damn it, kid. You heard what the doc said. There are no more hydras in this world. On top of that, there's no way to get to the mainland, and El Nido isn't that small a place. Are you going to take a one in a million chance to search for this thing just to save a girl you barely even know? Yes. Yes, I am. Hey, what you gonna do? I'm gonna find a way to save her. Of course. Alrighty then, I'll come along with you. Oh, you are in the party now. Presumably. By the way, do you even have a clue where to start looking? Mm, hey, do you? Not really. Tch, that's what I thought. Where in the world should we start? All we have left is that girl's amulet. Damn 
What are we gonna do? If only we had some kind of clue. Um, yes, Otter, Nurse, Doctor, Lady. Maybe you should go see the Shaman. The Shaman might be able to give you some clues from that amulet. That's right, the Shaman. A Shaman? That's an unfamiliar word. The Shaman inherits the power of the Dragon God and governs the village. They're like a mayor or chief. The Shaman might know something, although I can't say for sure. It's worth a try. We'll continue this outside. Let's decide what to do with the boat. Good call. Huh? Shadowcat! Oh, you're Luna from Mel's place. What? Oh, hey. That Mel, what is she up to? Does anybody else see the shadow cat? What's up? It's just a cat. Strange guy. Come on, let's get going. Not just a cat, it was a flipping shadow cat. We need to get going as soon as possible, but you probably need to equip yourselves, right? I'll be waiting here. Call me when you're ready to go. We haven't got much time, so hurry. If you need to see the shaman, go down this way. Take the ladder to the second floor of the merchant tower and go left. There's a tower called the Dragon Shrine. Compared to Termina, that is a small village, so you shouldn't have any problem finding a way. Cool. We have things to do. I would love a save point. Welcome, trader. I will trade your materials for your extra elements. Maybe later? Oh, that's too bad. Oh, fine. Fine. If you're going to be fussy about it, kid, then we will do it. Uh, what to... I don't understand. You know what? Uh, oh, wait, she wants it. I received this bone from a trader, but I would like you to set it adrift in the seas. I'm sure its real owner would like to have it returned to nature. So, sure, easy. Why, thank you. Here it is. Please take good care of it. Pelvic bone. Yeah, you need guts to get through in life. Hey, that's right. My favourite dish is Terminus' favourite squid gut pasta. So we're still collecting bits and pieces of our boy Skelly. What's going on here? Equipment is essential to protect yourself from danger. It sounds like these when you need the latest goods. I'm still an apprentice smith, but my passion for work is golden. Fine, we'll try and upgrade then. Can I make anything good? But pick is an upgrade for you, but we don't have any. F we need fur. Okay, might be able to make fur from uh, from the kid, right? It's worth a shot, right? So we want fur. Sixteen levels worth. We have a couple of magma bombs we don't need. Get rid of like. Oh god, that's actually quite a lot to get. You know what? It's fine. I'll I'll figure it out manually. My partner's a demi-human beast. Got no energy. Jesus, worthless. Wow, you are uh... not much fun. Let me rest a little bit. Even though I might look strong, I only have the strength of an average human. All right, cool. Plot, reasons, things. Save point? Love a save point. The demi humans in this village get along with humans, but many others of our kind still hold a grudge against humans. Those that were driven off the mainland gathered to build the village of Marbule. It's on the big island way down southeast of here. Cool. Sorry to be abrupt, but do you have you ever come across a shiny material? I don't know. Elements are common items nowadays, but there's a special kind called summon elements. This kind releases awesome power based on one of the six attributes. Shiny material is a mysterious byproduct of this phenomenon. This material is an essential item for craftsmen to forge advanced weapons, armor, and accessories. Still, everything depends on the skill of the craftsman. Cool. Good insight. Yep. Oh. Another life is about to slip through my hands, just like before. I've killed so many. So, so many. Studying medicine changed nothing at all. Man, I am so powerless. So are you going to just give up on this life? Oh, uh, I, I, too many voices. That's not the case, is it? If you do, who else will c help her back from the edge of life and death? I really hope all these people aren't carrying by me. I won't have enough voices for all of them. I don't know, but I don't know your past. Living 
bound by the past is a very painful thing. You need to face reality head on. Running away isn't a sin, but it accomplishes nothing. But I... One thing is different from the past. You have the ability to heal. Everyone in the village recognises that. Don't suffer by yourself. If you give up now, you will never be freed from your past. Now go. Don't let it end without doing something first. I have done them a discourtesy. I'm a failure as a doctor, but I must do what I can. Thanks, Orla. What was that gesture meant to be? Well, as long as he's happy. Let's not go in right now. Right, yeah, we're just going to leave him to it, I suppose. Hello, fairy man. The population is lower compared to the past. Old customs might fade away with time. What are we talking about? That's not a way to go either. We do have a ladder, though. Do we have a safe point anywhere in sight? This game needs a save point. We're a small village, but we have some rare elements. You won't find yeah, Let's take a look. Meteorite. We'll have it. Which ones haven't we got yet? That should be a better way of doing it. We haven't got... We've got Bushwhacker. Haven't we? Same with... Well, none, is, are they, is it because they're both on Kid? I suppose that's a possibility. We'll, we'll get a Meteorite. Hell Soul. Okay, that's all of them, is it? Well, let's get a Bushwhacker just so we've got one of everything covered. Thank you very much. Please be careful and travel. Blah, 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 have a nice day. Uh, as a man of the sea, you've got to be on your toes whether you're on land or manning the ship. I always pay close attention to my element placement. You have to think about terrain and attribute conditions. That's pretty complicated. That's a cat. Yay, cat. Far off in the eastern El Nido Sea, there is a village, Marbul, homeland to us demi-humans, but my friends there hate humans. Cool. Let's make a beeline for that place then. Uh, oh man, two past to go. Which one's going to have a save point on it? save point. To the north of this village lies Earth Dragon Isle, which we locals call the land where the dragon sleeps. Until a few years ago, the surface was covered with sand, but somehow the sand disappeared completely overnight. More mysteries, is it? Oh, this is where I came from before. Can we go up here now? We can. What were you hiding up here that I couldn't go see before? Just a room full of stuff. Oh, and a child. You're new around here, right? Do you know what these wires are for? If you don't know, I'll teach you for a special price of 5G. Sure. You're an entrepreneurial kid, I appreciate that. Before I teach you, I'll need that 5G. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Okay, here goes with a quick rundown of the whole gadget. This wire connects to the docks. There's also a second wire connected to the shrine. Basically, it's a shortcut to the docks. You can get there a lot faster than walking, plus it feels great. Well, the only problem is you can't come back the same way. It's a zip wire, I got it. You can't defy gravity, you know? Cool, I don't want to go back down to the docks just yet, but you know what? And I probably could have figured that out on my own. But, you know, you're hustling, kid. And I respect that. There's nothing else up here, though. So coming up here was a bit of a dud. Oh, we can go down, though. There's a down. A secret down. Who's this? Mel. Oh, wait. Mel was the person with the cat. What? Don't chat bother me. I've got to concentrate and concentrate. Two lots to concentrate, eh? Well, that's a lot of concentration required. Why would this ladder be here? Other than just for plausibility reasons. Man, this area is... I feel like this every time I enter a new area, I'm just like, oh man, there's so many places to go and things to do. It starts to just overwhelm me a little bit. But this should... Yeah, okay, this just takes it back up to the other side of that. That's fine. There was another building... Oh no, that was just the top bit up there. Okay, cool, so we are done on this side. Marvellous. Go. Oh, there's a kid in the way. That's why we couldn't go. Right, along this way then, I suppose. Same child? Um, would you like to become the wind? I will become the wind. Oh, uh, is that another zip line thing? Cool. No, 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 I'm not quitting. I'm just coming back later on. This is the Dragon Shrine residence of our chief, Shaman Direu. Be sure to act courteously on the premises. I don't know the meaning of the word. <gasps> Save point! Don't talk to me, old man! Oh, it's Shrine Maiden. Welcome to the Dragon Shrine. 
I am Steena, a shaman serving village chief and high priestess Diria. Diria, Diria, Diria. I presume that you have come to the shrine seeking assistance. Please don't hesitate to ask Chief Diria for guidance. Can I use your save point? You have a young yet gentle air. Hmm, an odd wind swirls around you. I have heard that such wind bearers appear at times, but... Do you speak the truth that you are already dead in this world? Hmm, I see. So that's why you have an odd air about you. As for a way to return to your original world, I do not know. But there are always reasons why such phenomena occur. Phenomena is a good word. The land, the land of Genesis, your only key may lie there. The key that connects your world to this one. It is, shall we say, a dimensional distortion of sorts. If events in your world are different from events here, it may be possible to save the girl stricken by the Hydra poison. That is, if the extinct Hydra still exists in your world. Ah, here come the time travel elements. <gasps> save point! Yes! Well, we will start to look at the time travel elements next time. We're going to save there. Thank God. This game has become a bit of a dash from save point to save point. We'll be continuously freezing. But thank you very much for watching. hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good good. And I will see you in the next one. Ta-ra for now.